Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports did something pretty ridiculous yesterday. Ridiculous in the fact that it dropped an SBC that we expected to see today on Sunday, a day early, and the price of this specific, very highly anticipated SBC, they made it a lot cheaper than they, we thought it was going to be released at as well. And of course, that is moving the market in every single which way. Prices are going up, prices are going down as people have to sell cars to do this SBC because it is so, so hype for the type of players you can get from it. We're talking about that 90 plus, and we'll talk about it a bit more in today's video. And of course, that leaves us asking what's going to happen today on Sunday as we thought that SBC was going to be today. So we'll take a look at that and of course, what's going on with the market. There's a lot going on. If you are excited for the video today, if it helps you at all, drop a thumbs up on it and of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, let's talk about the two SBCs from yesterday. The first one, right? Brahim Diaz, the other SBC we expected to see yesterday. Four star, five star, five foot seven, high medium, live and upgrading because of course, Milan are still in the Champions League. Really good looking stats, really good looking price as well. 140,000 coins. It's not the most meta card, but if you run a Serie A squad, if you need some AC Milan links, I think this is a W card, right? Right now, we're in the quarterfinals of the Champions League games this week and next week. So an upgrade potential for Brahim Diaz if they are able to beat Napoli and go on to the semifinals of the Champions League, he would get a plus one inform upgrade and three new trades. He already has finesse shot, flair, and technical dribbler. So three new trades added on and a plus one overall inform upgrade if they do get, uh, of course, move on ahead of Napoli, right? They're playing Napoli. They just beat Napoli, I believe, last week in the league. Now they're going to play them two weeks in a row in Champions League. So big games upcoming for this card. It is out, of course, for three more days. Not bad value. Not amazing. It's just kind of there, right? This, though, is the SBC that everybody is talking about. The 90 plus, 88, 86, and 85 rated squads. No special requirements. No informs. EA has done that now two weeks in a row with some of these big time upgrade pack SBCs. And guys, this SBC rocked the world of FIFA yesterday on FIFA 23. Take a look at the upvote, downvote percentage. 473,000 coins. This SBC is so upvoted because of the price. What were we talking about when we saw this pack added to the code? We were talking about this SBC potentially being 600,000 coins plus 700,000 coins plus because of the potential for the team of the year icons or the foot birthday icons, right? They were packable from this pack. And as you can see, prices have dropped a lot on some of those icons and some of the meta cards on the market because this SBC is a lot cheaper than expected and so many people are doing it. And if you have not done it yet, this is one that's probably worth the craft. Yes, of course, you could get some really bad cards, right? I was taking a look. I tweeted out today my opinions on this SBC. I said, this is a W price, but the weight must be terrible if it's this cheap. And if you look at some of the replies, man, we got guys packing my guy, Pirlo, right? I freaking love this Pirlo card. You've got Hugo Sanchez. You've got Lineker. You've got Lom, who's got better cards already in the game. This guy says he packed a 92. But then you see other people packing like Makalele, Cantona, Ronaldinho, right? Beckham from his right, Mateus, then a hero. So it seems like uh, Zanetti for, for Brooklyn Chef. Let's go, bro. Like, it seems like the pack weight on this is not amazing, but it also doesn't seem shocking at the same time, which is a little surprising to me because what this SBC at the price that it is reminds me of is what we saw last week with that 87 plus player pick right here. Remember how last week the 87 plus player pick for the World Cup or the Fantasy Foot Heroes was like almost automatically giving out all World Cup heroes. It was like very few Fantasy Foot Heroes were inside of this player pick. That's how I figured this pack was gonna be at this price, only giving out primes. And while it does look like primes are the most popular, giving out from this pack team of the year and full birthday icons but specifically the team of the years don't seem to be that few and far between when i look at some of the packs that have been open and you know seeing people's responses on twitter and stuff like that so for 400,000 coins this is a w sbc whether you did it right away or whether you want to craft it i think the value is here is super duper nice so i got to get this done this week i also got to get roy Keane done this week but let's talk about how this impacted the market because some prices are going up some some prices are going way down. Let's talk about the prices that are going up first. And you got to talk about fodder here, right? With the 88 rated squad requirement and some of those, the 85s and the 86 rated squad requirement in there, 87s 
are, I think, what have gone up the most since yesterday. 87s and 88s probably rose the most. You did have some rises on 85s, 86s as well. But I think these cards, you could have gotten them for about 18,000 coins, maybe even 17k. Yesterday, I'm so glad that we talked about investing in fodder yesterday uh, before the content dropped on yesterday's video because these cards went up so much. And again, they were really good investments uh, late Friday night into Saturday. You take a look at Rudiger. He was 18,000 coins. These guys are up to 22K. Guys, these cards, in my opinion, are going higher because this is the type of SBC that a lot of people want to do. We're going to have more content coming out throughout the rest of this week. So fodder going up on a Saturday just means that it has more potential to keep going up into today, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And this SBC does refresh next Friday. Will fodder keep going up until then? I don't know. But if you have high rated fodder, I think I would keep holding on to it. 88s are 29,000 coins. Look at this spike from 25, 26K, boom, right up to like 29,000 coins for those cards. 86s were good buys too. I think they were about what, 13, 14K? 13K up to 17. That's really, really good return on your investment as well. 85s went up a little bit. They're back down now. This actually could be a decent look. If you can get them back down towards 9K, that's about what they were last night. They were above, right around the 10,000 coin mark, some of them above 10. So fodder on that middle tier, right? That was the sweet spot we talked about in yesterday's video as well. 86s to 88s was the play, and that is the part of the market that is going up right now. And I think it is going to go up further. So if you have that fodder, maybe you hold on to it. But a lot of the rest of the market is actually going down as people sell players to go and do this SBC. Look at Gold Mbappe, under 500,000 coins, where he was actually up in price from the past couple of days. 530,000 coins um, yesterday, heading into content, dropped straight down, right? This is the type of card that people are maybe selling to go in and do in this SBC, hoping to get somebody really insane, like a team of the year icon, Ronaldinho, or maybe a Muller, or a Hullet, or a foot birthday Rooney, right? Icon card to try to replace an Mbappe in their team. Um, and, you know, they, most people are not packing a card that is that good. Uh, so you've seen a couple cards like that drop off in price and have some bounce backs, but a lot of the cards that you see down horrendous right now in this game are the Impacts Trophy Titans. Guys, these cards really dropped off a ton yesterday. I'm looking at cards like Roberto Carlos, who started off the day on Saturday at 900,000 coins, all the way down to 700K. Now, I know that we expect to see promo cards their Impacts drop off during Saturdays, but these percentage point drop offs on some of these cards were absolutely nuts. Lam is 460K for his best card. This is a 600,000 coin card yesterday. Huge drop offs on all these Titans. Torres is 1 4. Bird Camp's 500K. Um, the, the Lam that I bought and sold a bunch yesterday is 100,000 coins for an incredible, incredible card. Lucio is 2.6. So many of these cards have really dropped off. A ton of price and i want to talk about them a little bit more towards the end of this video but what does this mean for the market right this means there is so much sbc demand for this big time sbc that people are going to be crafting this throughout the whole entire rest of this week and it's just a ton of sbc content at this stage is pulling people's coins into sbcs and sbcs and you're seeing so many cards on the market continue to drop off i really did not buy a thing yesterday after content and it looks like most cards uh, besides a couple maybe like live cards are not doing that well on the market, right? We talked about live cards in yesterday's video as well as a potential buying investment point um, for cards that could still be hype. Now look at uh, Fofana, 365 for a card like this. He was 400,000 coins before this SBC came out, right? And I mean, Chelsea are still in Champions League. So uh, let me look at the price here. He went from 395 all the way to 348. This is the type of card that was a good buy yesterday, right? These rare live cards, maybe some foot fantasies as well. Those were the types of buys that you would have wanted to look at yesterday. Raspadori, right? He's kind of been our guy recently. 191,000 coins. How low did he go yesterday? Uh, went down to 189. So that sort of stuff. I think it's like most of the only cards that have rebounded back on the market. But other than that, a lot of cards are down just because people are doing this big time SBC 
and uh, they have to sell some cards to do it. Some icons dropped a bit yesterday from like the team of the year icons, but a lot of them rebounded back up because, you know, it's really tough to pack a team of the year icon or even a foot birthday icon from that SBC. So kind of crazy that EA dropped it early yesterday, but it is what it is. And honestly, GG's, I'm 1000% going to try that SBC out later on this week once we get upgrade packs and stuff like that. Now that, that kind of brings me to my next point. What's going to happen today? Since we had that big SBC yesterday, what is EA going to do today to mix it up? Because usually we see these types of SBCs on Sundays. Now, I've got an opinion, and I think it's kind of going along with the most recent leaks. I think we might be in for a pretty big player SBC today on this game. One that a lot of people have been looking forward to and really, really want. Watch out for an end of an era Ozil. Today could be a perfect day for EA to drop this SBC. Foot Sheriff finally leaked it right. And Foot Sheriff leaked the Brahim Diaz yesterday uh, early, like right before it was dropped, a couple hours before content. I think that him posting this card today uh, could be uh, just a sign that it is going to drop today on Sunday, right? Watch out for an end of an era Ozil. Now, of course, Ozil's links are not that fantastic because he does have Turkish League links, I believe. He already has a 5-star, five 5-star five uh, Winter Wild Cards item that was a 40,000 coin SBC. So hopefully the Ozil today has a really big boost on stats on this card. Hopefully it's still 5-star, five 5-star. Five um, maybe they could up the work rates to like high-low or something like that. He's already got the great traits. This could be a really, really meta card, just a bit difficult to link. So... With that being the case, if this SBC does drop today, I think there will be a lot of hype for it. And there's a couple like German links that have been released recently in this game that make me a little bit interested in some cards you'd maybe want to watch out for today. Timo Werner would be one of those um, as the best uh, kind of German striker that is a promo card in this game. Down from 260 down to 240. Watch him today. Watch Hummels. Hummels is already up a lot in price. And again, I would just stay, uh, stay away from midfielders in this game right now. I mean... Bruno Guimaraes, 700,000 coins, big drop off. Genduzzi, 430,000 coins, big drop off there as well. Midfielders everywhere are just down, down, down because of the Keen, uh, the Roy Keen SBC that was dropped. All the midfielders like Rabio that have been released recently, midfielders are in the mud. So I would stay away from trying to buy some of those. But how are you going to link an Ozil card today besides some of those cards? You know, one guy that I'm looking at, and I made a ton of coins off him yesterday, and that's, I'm not trying to highlight this card because I made a ton of coins off of him, but this Philip Lom card, at, right now he's 100,000 coins, which is astonishing to me. And I'm not trying to, like, you know, say to go buy this guy. I'm just saying, how would you link an Ozil card in your team today? This might be one of the better cards you would do it with. 114,000 coins. For this Lom card, I mean, we, we talked about it yesterday in the video, right? His prime was 400k and a worse card than this before Friday. This card at 100,000 coins, I actually did pick up a couple more. He was about 105,000 coins, so I do have a few on my transfer list right now. Just full transparency, I have like five of them on my transfer list at like 105k. Uh, I mean, this guy is so supplied, which I don't like, but he is such a good card as a right back. And if Ozil does come today, I think it might be a card that a lot of people uh, want to go and get for their link to the new Ozil. So I'm definitely watching Lam today. I'm not saying to invest. I'm just kind of shouting that out as a, I guess, potential opportunity for a card that could move a bit if Ozil's price, uh, if Ozil has a really, really well-priced SBC today, that might be a way people would link him with those German links. So just kind of watch out for that. And then another question people have for today is, are we getting a mini release of these Trophy Titans uh, cards? Uh, we haven't had any leaks about a mini release. We know we're getting a Team 2, uh, but that really doesn't tell us if we are getting more cards in packs today on a Sunday. 680 for Roberto Carlos? Goodness gracious, that is low, man. That is very, very low. I'm actually really tempted to buy that because he is... That's so cheap, man. That is so, so... so I'm going to buy it, bro. I'm going to buy it. Five-star skills for Carlos. We made a lot of coins yesterday. We're going to try to flip some stuff into today on Sunday as well. But um, I don't know about a mini-release, guys, because it does it make sense to me? No, it does not really make sense for them to drop a mini-release because it's icons and we don't have any leagues for it. So we'll see if they do something crazy today. Uh, it is Easter today as well. So, you know, on holidays that are come kind of come on like weekends, Christmas was a really big day this earlier this past FIFA cycle um, on a big day of content. I don't know if today is going to be because it's a holiday. Um, I think today might be a, kind of a quiet day besides Ozil. And maybe like an Easter SBC for like um, maybe another like small pack or something along those lines. I don't entirely know. 
Also, today could be another day for like an upgrade pack. EA could also go in full coin drain mode if they re-release a hero player pick or put out another like year in review or a uh, campaign bag SBC. Those are all sorts of potential content that we maybe could see today. Lower level percentages, but I guess the potential is there for that uh, since it is a Sunday and since we are heading into team of the season where they want to drain a lot of coins from people's clubs right now in this game. So that's something to watch out for, for sure. And then, um, yeah, I want to talk about Trophy Titans again a bit more because these cards right now are down so much, and I still cannot believe how packable these cards are for icons. The pack, wait, they released like a premium pivot pack in the store yesterday, and it's like 40% chance of packing an icon. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how high the percentage chance is there for some of these cards. Um, but I have to honestly just think that is the supply for these cards, have we seen the, the bulk of it already? And will these cards, if content today is pretty slow, Will these cards be viable today for some rises later on this week if the content throughout the rest of this week is going to be pretty slow because these prices are so low the way that it is for some of these cards? Um, I almost have to think that some of these guys could rise up a bit because people will say during this next week, while these prices are really cheap, while these are cards that I want to try out for some nice upgrades, like the Roberto Carlos that I just picked up. I mean, people were panic selling their um, team of the year, Teo Hernandez for this card, right? And I'm glad I picked up this card at, at 680 right there because he's pretty rare to 720. We'll see if that works out or not. Um, but like so many people want to try these cards out and I think there's a lot of demand for not every single one of these cards before a lot of them so that's why i'm very interested in uh potentially looking at buying some of these cards today on sunday depending on how low they get i think there could be a good investment opportunity here because yes they are supplied a lot but also they're in so much demand because ea made these promo cards so affordable that so many people can get them and try them out and that's why i'm really a fan of these titans cards I, again i don't love the supply if there is something that ea drops today that brings more supply to the oh i didn't want to bid 110 i wanted to bid 104 okay thanks ea 99k can i get the snipe i cannot but this is why i love trading with lam too he gets so many like undercuts and snipes here like he's actually 100 and what 14k 113 114k right now but then you saw that one pop up at 99 it's crazy but that also makes me not like him because he has a ton of pack supply so this card is kind of crazy i got outbid on that one okay ggs um, but yeah, just keep an eye. If there's any Trophy Titans that you really, really want for your team, I would just tell you that keep an eye on their prices because today, tonight on Sunday, heading into Monday, I think that a couple of them could start to go up. They could fall further today as well, for sure. We do have squad battle rewards, which is going to bring some supply to this game and to this market because, I mean, let's be honest, how many of us played squad battles in the past week to do like the foot birthday party objective? A lot of us did. So, uh, yeah, just be really careful with them. But just to kind of highlight what I did with Lom yesterday, maybe you guys saw my tweet, but I lost a lot of coins on Bear Camp, right? We talked about it in yesterday's video. We, you saw it on the stream if you were there. I bought about, man, I think I bought 28 or 29 Philip Loms right here at 135 to 141,000 coins. And I sold them all right here from 170. He was actually 170 for a bit longer, but between 177 and 165 is where I sold all of my loms. So um, I lost about 450, 500,000 coins on these two Dennis Bear Camps right here. But with all of the loms that we were able to flip, I ended up making about 600,000 coins and above. Uh, that on these lambs. So I offset the loss from the bird camp and went even above that. So it feels good to kind of offset the losses in that sense. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to do it again a little bit today. We've got a couple more lambs. We're going to try to uh, trade with some of those. And then hopefully today, especially if Ozil does come out with some really good links, then Lam could be another card that we watch out for today. Uh, it's just, again, crazy how cheap some of these cards are just based off of uh, the pack weight, man. I still can't get my head wrapped around it. It's nuts, but it is what it is. And uh, we'll trade with those cards. And of course, during team of the season, they're going to be very, very important for trades as well. But that's kind of what I'm thinking for the game today. I think it might be a quiet er Sunday since we got the big icon upgrade pack yesterday. Let me know down in the comments what you got from that 90 plus. If you're doing it, if you're going to craft it, uh, I'm waiting for the upgrade packs before I go ahead and do some of that. And I'm also like one squad away from Roy Keane. So 
so many SBCs that I want to get done right now. Roy Keane, this 90 plus. I need some upgrade packs. Maybe we'll pack some icons or heroes this week. And uh, maybe there is a mini with these coming. I don't know. We'll see. EA surprises with that, right? But if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.